Hey guys, welcome to Technical Beard here. Today in this video, I will be talking about one iPhone issue faced by users since they are updated their devices to iOS 15.1. And the issue is that user is not able to take a screenshot on the devices after the update. So now in this video, let's see how to fix this issue and how to enable taking a screenshot on a devices after the update, right? So there are multiple solutions we can try. If the standard method of taking a screenshot doesn't work on your devices, let's see what are the solutions that might work, right? So now let's try one by one and let's fix the issue here. Starting with the first solutions, if taking a screenshot with buttons doesn't work, then let's try with assistive touch. For that open settings and open accessibility, right? If you see here, open this and here go to open touch, okay? Just tap on touch here. Once you are here, just go ahead and Turn on the or enable the assistive touch. After that, you will see a white bubble on a screen, right? So now, if you see here on the main home screen or the main options, there is no screenshot. For that, just go and open settings. Okay, below that, just customize top menu level. Okay, top level menu. And here, just add one more option. And in that option, select the screenshot option. If you see out of the menu or options, just select the screenshot for the option here. And now, when you see here, if you use assistive touch, okay, there is the option of screenshot. And once you use that, you can take a screenshot on your devices, right? Anywhere on any screen here. Assistive touch is a very helpful feature of the iPhone when a physical part doesn't work or doesn't respond, right? So really helpful tool. The second solution that is a taking a screenshot with the back tap. So guys, every iPhone which has a option of wireless charging, okay, it has a feature of back tap, right? So now how to use this? So do one thing, go to settings here, and open accessibility. In that open touch. And here scroll down till the last and open back tap and here there are options okay click on double tap and you can choose a option called screenshot so on a back of your devices when you tap twice or a double tap it will take a screenshot if you see let me try again okay back tap and the screenshot here so this is a feature you can try on devices when a screenshot with a physical or a common method doesn't work on your devices the next solution I would recommend is that check your software update. So whenever there is a glitch or a bug in the iPhone devices or a update, Apple always fix it in a coming update, right? So do one thing, open setting, go to general, click on software update and check if there is any recent update on your devices available for you. The next solution I will say that just reboot your device. So whenever there is an issue or a glitch in the devices, just reboot your devices that might fix your issue or reboot your system, right? It's very simple go to settings general and shut down your device or just do it through your buttons on a home screen okay on your devices and lastly if still rebooting doesn't work then you can try is force rebooting your device or a force restart how to do it it's very easy just press volume up button release volume down button release and just press and hold the power button until the apple logo comes as you can see on the screen so basically force reboot will turn off everything on devices it will shut down the hardware right so in the process it might clear or stop everything running in background on a devices and this might help in solving the issue as well so guys lastly i hope the solutions works for you and if it doesn't i hope it is a software issue and might get fixed by apple in coming update and if it doesn't fix by apple updates then take your device to your nearest apple repair store and one more thing, by any way, this was a helpful video, then please give a like and please subscribe for more awesome videos. Until then, thank you very much. Bye-bye.